Hi, I'm Judy Shikoni and I play Zafrina in Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2. And, well, this is me from Amanda Elkins. So my three best and worst personality traits. Well, I would say that my three best, which is probably my favourite subject, is I am quite outgoing and adventurous. I'm counting that as one. And then my second one is I have a good sense of humour. And my third one is I am tenacious and I just keep on going. And my three worst personality traits? Oh, I never really had to think about that. Um, I guess I can be um, sometimes maybe a little bit controlling because sometimes I think I'm right. And very uh, perfectionist. I, I know what I like and, and I really want to try and get perfection. And the third one uh, is eating too much chocolate, a personality trait. If it is, then that's it. As a child, I grew up in Manchester, the north of England, and I really wanted to be an actress or a model. So, the good news is I achieved my dream. I was modelling for a good few years, and now I am solely an actress. So, yay, dreams can come true. The very first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning is to meditate. I just find it's the only way to keep me calm and keep me sane, and it really balances me for the rest of the day. If I'm in a rush, it might be just five minutes, and if I have plenty of time, it might be up to an hour. But meditation is a big part of my life, and it's the very first time I get every day. Do I have any beauty secrets? Yes. I'm not really meant to share this because you know girls don't like to reveal all their secrets, but this hair isn't all mine. I have a hair extension company called Extension Evolution, and the website is extensionevolution.com, and I use a lot of my own stock because I get it for free, and I would say my biggest beauty secret is the use of hair extensions to make me feel fabulous and beautiful and feminine. As far as fashion goes, what is my style? Ugh. I think my style is probably as eclectic as my personality. Some days I walk out and I decide I want to be a powerful businesswoman and I'll choose a suit. And then the next day I'll decide I want to be a princess and I'll wear a long flowing dress. So I think it's a slightly eclectic and definitely very diverse. Today I've opted for something pretty feminine and summery. But um, you never know, tomorrow I could decide that I really am a vampire and be dressed all in black. Which bands and music am I listening to right now? It's, it's kind of complicated because it changes all the time. I listen to a lot of audiobooks on tape. Uh, I really love Witch Dad, Poor Dad and Anthony Robbins and those motivational things. But music-wise, James Marsden and or James Morrison and his album An Awakening is really beautiful. There's one song called Right By Your Side and it just makes me tear up and makes me feel like I have someone with me all the time and that just spurs me on and helps me go through the day successfully. But my absolute ultimate best song again is a kind of spiritually one it's a hallelujah by jeff buckley his version is just really breathtaking and the moment i love the most in the song is just before he starts singing he takes a really big inhale and exhale and then he starts and there's something about that breath that just gives me goosebumps so far, the absolute coolest thing that has ever happened to me. Well, I'm not going to say Twilight because we already know I'm in it and we've discussed that. So, I would probably say I went skydiving. <laughs> I did a tandem skydive, which was just incredible. It was for a television program that I was hosting. And that was just a really surreal experience. And it was an experience where I had to make my mind work over my body because when you're on the edge of a plane and you're trying to make your body let go and jump down your body doesn't want to do it and your mind has to take control so for me that was just the coolest experience who are my role models Ooh. I really do like Oprah Winfrey I love what she's done I love people and women particularly who have come from adversity and come from difficult beginnings and managed to be so successful. I love people who are able to give something back and be able to motivate and spur other people on to achieve their dreams. So I would say definitely Oprah Winfrey. Also Anthony Robbins, he's definitely had a powerful impact in my life. In a weird way, Rihanna, because she's just so kick-ass and she just doesn't care that sometimes she reminds me to just not care about other people's opinions. And I think my friends and just the people around me, they constantly inspire me with 
their passion and their drive and how hard they work to get the things that they want. And that includes Marissa, who's also in Twilight. Things I like to do when I'm not working. Hmm, can't really tell you all them because I could get in trouble. Uh, but the nice ones. I really enjoy reading. Love reading. I love reading spiritual, metaphysical books, quantum physics, self-help, all things about human possibility and things like that. I'm just so fascinated with the magic that exists in the universe and being able to capture it and use it to achieve your dreams. And also I really enjoy eating. <laughs> Might not look like it, but I do. I really enjoy going to really nice restaurants and getting dressed up like a lady and being treated like a queen and trying all different types of food from all around the world. And then my final favourite thing to do when I'm not working and probably my most favourite thing is travelling. I just think it's completely true that it broadens your mind and it definitely has broadened mine and it's just unlimited. It never stops bringing me new joy and some of the places I've been are India, this year I went to Jerusalem by myself, I've been to Thailand, Africa, most of Europe and I'm going to keep on going. If I had a time machine and I could go back in time and I could change anything, what would it be? I'm probably going to get quite esoteric here, but I think I would go back and I would change people's minds. I think somewhere along the way we've got it twisted and we think that we can't earn a living from doing what we love, that we can't achieve our dreams, that we have to settle, we have to make do, that life is hard, it's going to be a struggle, you can't always get what you want. And I think as well as taking all of those phrases completely out of our minds and our dictionaries, I would um, bring back the idea of unlimited possibility and that the miracle that we are here means this alone means that we can do anything we want. Well, I am Judy Shikoni. Please make sure you watch Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2. Thank you, Amanda Elkins, for having me on, and hopefully, I will see you again soon. This is me.